And so here we are, we're going to do another conversion problem. Um, and again, this is a typical proportion type problem when you have to convert from one unit to another. And um, well, let's begin. So let's read it first. Um, how many cups are in three sevenths of a gallon, given that one gallon is 16 US cups? So the first thing we're going to do is we note our conversion factor, one gallon is equal to 16 cups, right? And what do we not know? How many cups? How many cups are in 3 sevenths of a gallon? So what we don't know is the cups. So I'm going to put X, our unknown. This is going to represent how many cups in the 3 sevenths of a gallon. Okay. So now I'm going to set up our proportion. I want, so let me put cups on top. 16 will be cups. One will be gallons. Equals. Since on the left, I put cups on top. I'm going to put cups on top on the right. My X. On the bottom, I'm going to put how many gallons? which will be three over seven. This is gallons. These are cups. Okay. So now I have set up my proportion that we're going to solve to, that we're gonna solve to get the number of cups in three sevenths of a gallon. And again, think about why this proportion makes sense. We assume that units don't change size. So if one gallon has 16 cups, that's going to be the same no matter what. And so that's basically why this uh, conversion technique, uh, that's exactly why this, con that's exactly why this conversion technique is the conversion technique. Anyway, so we recall our, our universal technique for solving proportions, and it goes as follows. We remember that it's if A over B equals C over D, then a D A times D will equal B times C. Okay, we remember this technique. And so automatically we see that if if A over B equals C over D, then A D, so 16 times 3 over 7 will equal to B, well, B times C. 1 times x, that's just x, because 1 times anything is just the number that it is. So 1 times 3 would be 3, 1 times 2 would be 2, 1 times 1 half is 1 half. So 1 times x, whatever x is, 1 times x is x, okay? So now you see here we have a, a fraction times a whole number. And what we can do is we can rewrite 16 as 16 over 1 times 3 over 7, because any number... When you put it over one, becomes a fraction, right? Or in other words, we can write any number as a fraction by setting it as the numerator and setting one as the denominator. Now, we're gonna multiply it. How do we multiply fractions? We just multiply them across. 16 times three. Well, let's do that over here. 16 times three. Three times six is 18. I carry the one. Three times one is three plus one is four. So 3 times 16 is 48, and we're going to divide it, and 1 times 7 is 7. And so now, we know that, that our x is 48 over 7. But of course, we don't expect cups like that. We expect cups to be like in some other form. But we know 48 divided by 7 is the same thing as if we take 7 on the outside and 48 on the inside. We we ask ourselves, what is the largest number of times 7 goes into 48 without going over? We know that 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. So it must be 6. 6 times 7 is 42, as we just mentioned. 48 minus 42 is a remainder of 6. So I can rewrite this as um, 6 and 6 over 7 cups, right? x equals 6 over 6 and six over seven cups, because this is the six, the whole number part, and then this six becomes the numerator of the of the fraction part. 
But if I want, I can write it as a, I can continue the decimal expansion just a little bit in case we want to, like, in case we're using liquid measuring cup. Uh, but anyway, so I know I can't put 7 into 6 anymore, right? So what I do here, once I reach that point, is I put a, uh, I put a decimal point and I can add a 0 here. I bring this down. So now I ask myself, how many times does 7 go into 60? I know that 7 times 8 is 56. So I put an 8 here. I put 56 here. 60 minus 56 is 4. And then, of course, I've already put the decimal place. So once I do the subtraction, I can bring down the 0. And now I ask myself, how many times does 7 go into 40? 5 times. Because 5 times 7 is 35. And then I subtract 40 minus 35. That's 5. I add a 0 and drop it. I ask myself, how many times does 7 go into 50? 7 times, because that'll be 49. And then I ask myself, what is 50 minus 49? It is 1. I bring down another 0, which makes it a 10. 7 goes into 10 one time, etc., etc., etc. So I can say now that this is approximately 6.86 cups. So I can either say that, so now I can answer the question, how many cups are in 3 sevenths of a gallon? 6 and 6 sevenths of a cup precisely. Or I could say that it is approximately 6.86 cups. Yes. And there we go. Ta-da!